The victim, Alan Rose, was the co-owner of J&J &J Towing. He was married with two young children. Tonight, his friends and loved ones are understandably struggling. News First 5's Carolyn Carver continues our coverage tonight. Carolyn. Lisa, as you can imagine, it certainly was an emotional and shocking day here at Rose's work. Now his business partner and best friend wants people to remember who Alan was as a person, not how he died. Alan Rose, just 35 years old and leaving a young family behind. The guy said he was fighting, he was tired, so and that, that would be Alan. John is his best friend and business partner, fighting back tears after a phone call with a first responder, passing on Rose's last words. I have to tell his wife. I have to tell his wife what he said. And I feel bad. He was concerned for his family. Tragically, no. Um, two kids have to grow up without their dad. And it's a shame for something as stupid as a tow. Now Stella Bot's questioning his life's work. And the towing business shouldn't be a dangerous business. It's, it's, I don't know what happened and this shouldn't happen. And he's wondering what's next. You know, working there shoulder to shoulder with me, late hours, early hours, whatever. We're supposed to bowl in the league tonight. And John is ridden with guilt tonight. He was actually the one that was supposed to go on that fatal toll call that took his best friend's life. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Carolyn Carver, News First 5. Thanks, Carolyn. So very sad.